A Toronto area war hero taking a giant step to help treat his mental distress, and he's sharing his story in its entirety with City News. Can a mind altering psychedelic drug heal his troubled mind? He invited our cameras to document his journey in an hour long event you'll see tonight, only right here. You feel high? <laughs> Super duper high. Ancient psychedelic medicines. Ay, ay, ay. Are moving from underground. Yes, it's illegal. I guess if I get caught, I get caught. To mainstream. It's happening now for several reasons. For one thing, the current mental health treatments are not very effective. We needed something better. It's a shit show out there in this world, and there's a lot of people suffering from depression. Uh, I'm not, and, and I'm not saying I'm not one of them. I'm definitely one of them. We may have something here that has the potential to be the equivalent of a cure for cancer in the mental health space. And Canadian business is looking to cash in. They are looking for the next big thing. They had cannabis. They're saying, what's next? And it turned out to be psychedelics. Can they succeed where modern medicines have failed? You know, it's time to like really make amends with yourself, not put yourself through the, the hardships anymore, right? One war hero is on a new mission to find out. How can I help you heal from this? He's facing death. It's worth a shot. There's no assurances, but there's also no other options. In a new documentary, Veracity, The Psychedelic Frontier, we follow the journey of a war hero named Patrick Molden, who's from Hamilton. What I saw in Afghanistan and what I experienced was just a, a level of hatred that it's hard to imagine. The horrors he witnessed haunt him to this day. He's tried modern medicines like antidepressants, but nothing worked. So now he's trying an ancient psychedelic plant called iboga to help treat his mental anguish. Iboga is a shrub that grows in mainly Africa. The medicine has physical abilities to help someone, you know, purge toxins out of their body. It has the ability to go and clean someone's spirit up as well. It offers them the opportunity to take a deep dive into their self and get an idea of different experiences that have happened that are affecting them now. In this documentary, we follow Patrick from Hamilton to Vancouver, where he'll take the drug in an ancient ceremony under the care of professionals. How's the medicine? Tastes horrible. <laughs> We'll also introduce you to scientists here in Canada who are studying other psychedelics like magic mushrooms. And the studies show that these psychedelics can be effective, they can be safe to treat mental health. But clinical trials are still not conclusive. In most cases, psychedelic drugs like magic mushrooms are not legal to prescribe in Canada. In this documentary, we'll tell you how that could change. We'll also take you underground inside an illegal mushroom selling operation run by two men who are sick of hiding. Freedom. This represents freedom. It represents freedom from being stuck in a dark place in your head. And I just hope that we can help a lot of people find freedom. We'll also show you a Canadian company which has set up shop across the Atlantic, a place where one psychedelic is legal, Amsterdam. A lot of people will, will, will ask me, well, why'd you start your business in the Netherlands? You're, you're a Canadian. And why they hired a worldwide celebrity with Canadian roots to help promote the business. I'm the uh, CCO of Red Light Holland. Our sit-down interview with Russell Peters, who opens up about his own struggles. Join us for a new documentary exploring what many are calling the psychedelic revolution. Will these drugs be a breakthrough in treating mental health? And can they rescue one war hero? from the grips of despair. You ask him, is it worth me killing myself for this? Is it worth me killing myself when I can't seem to get past this over and over and over again? I can tell you, following this, it was one heck of a ride. A lot of ups and downs as we track this war veteran for months. To see his journey in its entirety, join us for Veracity, the psychedelic frontier, tonight, 10, 9 central, only on City TV. Pat Taney, City News.